a church, a synagogue, and a mosque. Three buildings facing each other, but in three different directions. This is the very symbolic architectural concept of this Abrahamic family house. Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed then dis uh, uh, decided that there should be a synagogue included uh, in the complex so that uh, the three great monotheistic religions would all be represented uh, equally. Each religion uh, has its, uh, its own identity and its own services, uh, but they will all coexist in the same compound. Conceived by David Ajaye, an anglo ghanaian architect, the idea was born four years ago, long before the signing of the Abraham Accords. It was the first visit of a pontiff to the Arabian Peninsula, that of Pope Francis in February 2019, that led the foundation for a project with harmonious accents. Three white cubes that one would almost confuse, separated by a mixed, quiet, open space intended for interfaith dialogue. I think it's a historic shift and it, it's worth bearing in mind uh, that Jewish communities existed throughout the Middle East uh, until the mid 20th century uh, when after the creation of Israel most of them uh, either left or were expelled, uh, uh, migrated um, and then later uh, after the Iranian revolution also the Jews of Iran left uh, this is the first new synagogue established uh, in the Middle East, other than Israel, um, since the 1930s, is my understanding. So it is a historic development. Earlier this week, a Torah scroll was offered by Emirati President Mohammed bin Zayel al Nahyan to this Moses bin Maimun synagogue, anchored here forever, alongside St. Francis Church and the Imam Al-Tayeb Mosque.